this video is going to empower you as a man, all right? So the topic is make her regret losing you. Very important as a man. So listen, in this life, right, I want you to understand, as a man, you must know your worth. You must understand that you are a king. You are the prize. Always know and understand that, okay? Men cannot be replaced. Women, they can be replaced, especially in this day and age, okay? As a man, you are a god, a king, and you must understand and hold yourself to that standard during these times, man. Because let me tell you something. If you do not know your worth and value, these bitches are not going to respect you. Okay, it's very key. We do not give a damn if a bitch don't like us. The goal is, my bad, the goal is not to be liked, it's to be respected. We do not give a shit if a hoe don't like us for whatever the reason may be. The goal is to be respected. Now, I want you to understand, if a female ever in your life did you wrong, did you dirty, flat out disrespecting you, you gotta let that hoe go. You gotta let her go. As a man, you cannot tolerate no disrespect from no woman, okay? Real shit. The moment a woman disrespects you once or twice, you put that hoe in check and you let her go. We don't need no hoes, boy. We do not need a bitch, okay? I'm telling you, you, hey look, if you masculine like me, you don't need no hoe in your life. You feel good and complete without a hoe. You desire a hoe because that's how you is as a man, but you don't need a hoe to do nothing in this life. You can do everything you need all by yourself as a man. A woman can't do shit for you, okay? Now, can a woman do things for you? Yes, good women. But for the most part, you don't need no woman as a man. You don't, but you desire a woman because you need a woman to help you elevate in other areas of your life. But for the most part, you don't need a woman. A man is designed to be independent, okay? We are independent and we gonna keep doing what we're doing regardless. We don't need a woman to function correctly, okay? I'm living proof. I do not need a woman. I desire a woman, but I don't need her. And that's how you gotta be as a man. So listen, a lot of you guys may have dealt with females in the past, right? They may have counted you out, may have doubted you, right? They didn't, they didn't see your worth. And you feel me? Let me tell you something that females tend to do in this society. They want to downplay you and act like you're nobody. When in reality, you are somebody or you're on the path to becoming somebody. So they don't see your work until it's done. They don't see who you are until you become who you are. But by then, it's too late. Right? So all them females who decided, oh, you wasn't this, you wasn't that. They played you. Uh, they try to play you like you was a damn fool. They try to, you know, flat out make you look goofy out here. You got to make these hoes regret losing you. And let me tell you something. Ain't no better feeling than realizing, okay, remember, remember how that bitch did me? Remember when I was trying to chase that hoe and ask that hoe out on a date? And she was like, no, nah, and she flaked. Right. You got to make these hoes regret losing you. I'm telling you, as a man, that's the greatest feeling in the world. Just knowing like, okay, shit, I know I can get way better women than you. You feel me? I know I can get way better women than you. You feel me? I don't need you, bitch. I don't need you. That's the greatest feeling in the world as a man. And believe it or not, when you down bad, right, it's like women see that you grinding. But guess what? When you was down bad, they didn't want you. Right? Now check me out. You gotta remember those women who curved you in the past when you was broke, who, who was trying to play you like you was a goofy. You gotta remember that shit because when you get big, here they come. Goddamn bug. Here they come. Oh. Running back to you. After all the niggas who they was fucking with and messing with become bums in his life. You, you successful though. It's a bug somewhere. I don't know why this bug tripping. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you gotta understand and understand. You gotta make these hoes regret losing you, bruh. Level up on these hoes, man. You do not need a hoe, cuz. A hoe in this life ain't gonna let you or help you level up. She not. Most of these hoes is leeches. Most of these hoes have no goals or purpose in this life, bruh. Understand and know your value, cuz. It don't matter if you down bad right now, but you hold yourself like you got value because you do. You a man, bitch. You a man, bruh. And listen, in this life, right, as a man, you are always going to self-improve. You are always going to get better as long as you try. But the moment you don't try, it's kind of like, that's when she wins. However, and I'm telling you, once you level up and you get the women that's meant to be in your life, all the women who counted you out, all the women who wasn't even, you know, there for you or basically didn't give you the time of day, right? You got to leave these hoes where they at. Because I'm going to tell you something. Me, I don't give a damn. Ain't no bitch from my past that I mess with. It's on my level right now. And I say that shit proudly. You're not on my level. You're not. I don't care how you feel, bitch. If you watching it, one of these hating ass hoes who watch my shit. You ain't on my level. So... Get out your mind. Stop living in a fucking delusion like you're on my level because I don't need you. I feel happy without you. I don't need a hoe, you feel me? I feel happy without a hoe. You get what I'm saying? I'm telling you the damn truth. Now, can a hoe bring value to my life and add more happiness to my life? That's facts. But for the most part, I don't need a hoe. I don't need your pussy, cuz. I don't need it. And that's how you gotta be as a man. I know these bitches is not on my level. And listen, as time progresses and I get to where I gotta be in this life, it's grits. It's grass. It will be holes way better than the holes that was in my life. And you know what's crazy? Even at that time, when I was messing with certain females in my lower self, they wasn't even on my level then. But me, in a minute, it's grass. These holes is not on my level right now. They not. I know y'all hear that rain, but we're going to get this vid out the way regardless, you feel me? No matter the rain, storm, none of that shit. We're going to get this video done. Oh, it's one bug trying to fuck us over. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Let me make a pause right Anyways, I'm back. But like I was saying, I know my worth, bruh. I know what I came here to do. I know what I'm capable of, you feel me? So, bruh, these hoes that I was messing around with in the past, they're not on my level. They are not on my level. And that's how you got to look at it, bro. All the hoes that may have did you green, flaked on you, da 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 Make them regret losing you. Because listen, let me tell you something. Once you get to where you got to be, because I'm telling you, the universe is going to weed out all the bullshit and trash hoes. You know that? Because you improving. The universe is not going to allow certain females that's not on your level to be in your life. The universe is going to move their ass out the way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Bruh, I ain't lose nothing. They wasn't for me. You feel what I'm saying? And they not for you either because you are a divine masculine man, bruh. I know y'all hear that rain. I swear they be controlling the weather, cuz. They control the weather in my weather in my city, I promise you. It just been raining back to back. It'll be sunny as fuck, then it just be raining, bruh. So listen, you gotta make her regret losing you, bruh. And then, once you get to where you gotta be, and them new hoes come in, and them hoes just be on a whole nother level than her, oh my god. These bitches that flaked on you, these bitches that didn't believe in you, these bitches that act like they didn't see you, they gonna feel so hurt and sick because now they have no access to you anymore. They're not gonna have no access to try to get back in your life. You ain't even gonna wanna fuck with them no more because they not gonna be on your level. Some of y'all gotta understand, these women is not on your level right now. These women is not on my level, bruh. I promise you, right now, I'm a god, cause I do not need your pussy. I feel great without your pussy. I'm telling you, I don't need no hole to feel good. I feel good just loving myself, taking care of myself. And I'm not trying to be egotistical or narcissistic, nah. I just embody self-love. I love the fuck out of myself more than any hoe on this planet. 
I put myself before any hoe. And that's how it has to be. Men, that's how I gotta be, bruh. These hoes is not on your level. And it's time you start waking up and knowing your worth and value. Because if you don't know your worth and value, these bitches ain't gonna respect you. And listen, as a man, the number one thing we all want, we all need, is respect. We don't give a fuck if a nigga or a bitch like us. We gonna need that respect. So you can't be letting hoes try you, disrespect you, and play you like a fucking fool because how that make you look to other hoes who may wanna try to fuck with you later in life. If they see one hoe trying you and you ain't put that hoe in check and you ain't leave that hoe after she disrespects you, guess what? The next hoes that may have been peeping again, you gotta understand, when you chosen like me, it's hoes watching you, but they act like they not watching you. It's hoes watching me and you, bruh. You think these hoes don't see you grinding? You think these hoes don't see what females you be with or encountered? They examine all that shit. So in the event, right? Matrix. So listen, these hoes, right? When you a masculine ass guy in this society, right? They like to test you, test your masculinity, right? So what these hoes do is they watch how you interact with other females just to, to kind of scale what type of man they may have to deal with any event you let them back into your life. But nine times out of ten, you ain't. But you never know. It may be certain hoes that you give another chance to, not because she did you wrong or she didn't believe in you. It's just, you know, you at that point in your life where you can actually fuck with her, you feel me? Because you grinding right now, you ain't got time for hoes. And then when you do get to where you gotta be, you still ain't gonna have that much time for hoes, you feel me? Masculinity is a motherfucker. So listen, you cannot let these hoes disrespect you, bruh. Ain't no hoe gonna disrespect me and come back to my life. Once you show me you disrespecting me once, maybe twice, you out of my life. I don't need you. I don't need no hoe trying to disrespect me, none of that shit. Bye-bye. I know my worth. I'm a god. You feel me? I know I'm a god. Nigga, I'm not... The government know me and all that. You think I'm worried about that shit? I don't need no hoe, man. And I'm damn sure ain't gonna take no disrespect from no hoe. I don't need you. I don't need your pussy. I can do everything I want all by myself. I feel great without your ass. You feel me? I'm telling you the truth. I don't need a hoe. And that's how you has to be... How it has to be as a man. You don't need a hoe. But if you want a female to come into your life, she can. She can bring value to your life, okay? So listen, you gotta make these hoes regret losing you because I'm telling you, the more that you self-improve in this life, it's gonna be women that's just like you, mentally, physically, spiritually, who love you for you, ready to submit to you. Not gonna disrespect you because you respect yourself. You feel me? A lot of y'all be getting disrespected by bitches because you don't respect yourself. A lot of these bitches is not fine like that and y'all be letting them get over and disrespect you like you a fool. And listen, believe it or not, bitches always see what you're doing with other women. That's how bitches is. Bitches love to talk. It's okay. You can't get mad. Is them running their mouth all the time a bad thing? It can. It's a good and a bad thing. Because if, say for example, you, you hit a girl good, you fuck a girl good, right? And you gave her the best sex, the orgasms, all that was great. She gonna run her mouth to other females and now you in the gate with other females. So it's pluses and minuses with bitches that run their mouth. You can't change, you know, you gotta understand women is going to talk, right? So I want you to understand, man. This shit is real. Stop letting these women disrespect you, bruh. Make a bitch respect you. Get your life together, man. Focus on you. Fuck these hoes, man. These hoes can't change your life. As a man, the only motherfucker that can change your life is you, bruh. You don't need no hoe, man. A hoe cannot help you. And a hoe damn sure ain't gonna go out of way, go out of way to save you. This is the facts. But however, a man, right, could change a broke hoe life. You know why? Because we got simps. These hoes lazy, right? But it's always gonna be some nigga who look at a bitch for the pussy instead of her spirit. And go simp for that hoe and take care of that hoe. When that hoe ain't shit, bruh. Right, you gotta know your, your worth and your value, bruh. Stop tolerating, tolerating disrespect from these women, man. Once a woman disrespects you once, maybe twice, you put that hoe in check and you tell this hoe, listen, I don't need you. I done had way better hoes than you, okay? I do not need your pussy, okay? I don't need you. I'm good without you. You gotta let a hoe know. You gotta put fear in a hoe and let her know this shit real. You're not gonna disrespect me and keep coming back to me 
thinking you gonna keep nah man because let me tell you something the more that you keep playing with these hoes and you don't put your foot down the first time or second time she disrespects you she gonna see you as beta and she gonna keep trying you that's why you gotta put the message to that hoe like listen you done I don't you done once a hoe disrespects you once maybe twice she cut off it has to be bruh you gotta teach these hoes a lesson bruh facts once a hoe try to disrespect you once twice shit we gonna throw three out there just because, right? When it should be once or twice. You get that hoe out your life because you don't need her. You don't need her. What the fuck? It's a hoe better than her. Waiting to do everything you ask for. No problems, no questions asked. Because she see the value in you, man. This is the facts. So stop tolerating, stop tolerating disrespect from these hoes, man. Demand respect from these hoes. We don't give a fuck if a hoe don't like us, but you gonna respect us and you ain't gonna disrespect us because you could get the fuck on. We don't need you. You feel me? You gotta let bitches know that you don't need them and really mean it because you can't fake it and they gonna see through you. That's why you gotta keep it a buck with these women, bruh. And listen, let me tell you something. One thing about these women, right? They will try to play the manipulation game, the guilt game. They'll try to guilt trip you like you bugging, like this bitch is right. That's why you don't even argue with a hoe. You let that hoe know what it is, and you cut that hoe off, and you don't, you don't gotta explain shit to a hoe. Let that hoe look at the fucking wall. And guess what, I guarantee you, all the bitches who may have heard what she tried to do to you, or heard she disrespected you, I bet you the message got out there. I bet you the message got out there to them other hoes that be always nosy, because you gotta understand, women are very nosy. And it's okay, but it's also a bad thing, because it's, it's levels to it. But women are very nosy, so if you a chosen one, right, whatever women that you deal with and associate with, right, it's always a woman worrying about what bitches you fucking with because they, they secretly want to get with you, but they know they not on your level, bruh. They know you not on, they know that they're not on your level. However, in the event that you decide to give them a chance, they can at least know, okay, this nigga ain't no bitch ass nigga. He not gonna let me disrespect him. He really don't need me. And they like that. But you can't let these bitches disrespect you because, listen, word go around town, bruh. People is always watching me and you, bruh. They watching just to see if you really who you say you is. And as a man, your word is everything. That's the only thing you got as a man, your word, bruh. What you say is very powerful, bruh. Especially when you chosen, what you say matters to everybody because everybody is watching you. You are very important, bruh. So I'm telling you, you got to be who you say you is, man. And you can't fake no shit. You got to be really who you is, bro. You got to be a man out here, bro. I'm telling you, don't let no hoe disrespect you and get away with it. The moment a hoe disrespects you, you kick that hoe out your life. And guess what? All the females around you who knew that she tried to disrespect you, they go, okay, in they mind, okay, this nigga ain't no bitch ass nigga. He don't need her. He know his worth. I, I, I respect him now. I ain't gonna come into his life and try to disrespect him because I know he don't need me. It's a privilege for him to be in, for me to be in his life. That's how it has to be. Man, that's how I gotta be, bruh. Facts. Don't let these bitches disrespect you, man. Get these bitches out your life, bruh. What the fuck? We ain't tolerating no disrespect from no hole. We don't need you. We don't need them. Facts. I got a great video for y'all later today. Hopefully the rain don't get in the way. But, bruh. I got a great ass video for y'all today, dog. Legendary God shit. I promise you, y'all gonna love this shit later today, dog. But listen, you gotta make these hoes regret losing you, bruh. You know your worth. You know you a king. You know you a god. You know you the prize, man. We keep moving forward. We keep building ourselves up, focusing on ourselves. We don't focus on no hoe, man. A hoe can't make us happy. A hoe can't make us successful. Only me and you can do it, nigga, as a man. So understand, stop letting these bitches disrespect you, bruh. Word go around. I'm telling you, when a bitch disrespects you and she tests your masculinity, if you don't do nothing about it, she gonna tell other hoes. Now other hoes looking at you like, oh, I'm finna come into this life and try shit. But had you woulda put that hoe in check and let that hoe go like she was supposed to, like you was supposed to do, every bitch woulda, oh, I see, he's serious. He really serious. And when they see you don't argue with a hoe, they know this nigga for real. I'm telling you, you are being tested every day as a chosen one, especially by women. These women just, they see you, oh, you, oh, you masculine, oh, you disciplined, oh, oh, you, oh, you a legend in your city, huh? Right. 
So these bitches is always looking at you, bruh. If you chosen, women is always looking at you. All of them don't like you. But they still want you, though, because they secretly do like you. Get what I'm saying? They just don't know how to express it. It turns into, like, jealousy. You got to understand, envy, hate, and jealousy is really love. Right? They mad they not on your level. And that's okay. So, they'll just try to see what bitches you fucking with. See how you interact with them. In the event that you decide to let them in your life. But, aside from that, we not finna let low level hoes into our life. You get what I'm saying? Because we better than that as a man. I'm better than most of these hoes now. I can honestly say that. I don't give a fuck what hoe watching this. I don't give a damn. You ain't on my level, bitch. I don't need you. And as time passes and shit falls in place, cause you are going to look sick. You gonna look sick. Every nigga you may have messed with, the niggas they may have messed with is not even on my level. They not. They're not on my level right now. And I'm still building myself up. I'm telling you the facts, bro. I know I'm chosen. I know I'm destined for greatness. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, listen, bro. Make these women regret losing you, dog. And then guess what? Just remember everything a woman told you. Remember how a woman treated you. And then guess what? You leave that hole where she at, and then you fuck with better hoes who actually like you for you. Ain't trying to use you. Ain't trying to play you. Ain't trying to disrespect you. It's going to make that other hole hot because, believe it or not, when you put your foot down, a woman already know you serious. A woman already feel fucked up because she's like, damn, if this nigga becomes successful, it's like, I know I done fucked up. I fucked my face up with him and he not gonna argue with me, so now I just gotta play stupid. Right. I'm telling you, make these hoes regret losing you, bruh. It's always a better hoe than a hoe that curves you or turns you down, I promise you. But guess what? It would never be another nigga like you, cuz, because you're a man. When you build your life up, and you become a high value male in society, when you become successful, man, I'm telling you, it puts you over niggas who steal low life's bums, simps, who ain't trying to get that. I'm telling you, cuz, you be up here, and then guess what? When you up here, it's women who are already up here. You just had to catch up to them. And those women will gravitate towards you because you are what you attract. So if you somebody who's successful, you goal you goal oriented, you spiritual maybe, you on your purpose, etc. You got a business. Only women who just like that go come into your life, and that's the women you want to associate yourself with. All right. So listen, don't let these women disrespect you, bro. Check these hoes. Put these hoes in check. And listen, you tell that listen, you can get the fuck out. I don't need you, bitch. You gotta put fear in these hoes' heart. You gotta let them know this shit real, boy. You ain't finna disrespect me and get away with it, nigga. You feel me? I know I said nigga. You feel me? You finna get away with it? And then moment she try to, but I and play that like she don't know what's going on. Shh, you shut your ass up and you walk away, or you block that hole. You feel me? We ain't got time to argue with a hole because listen, these holes know what they doing. Don't ever in your life think that a hole don't know what she doing. You feel me? The goal is to see if she can manipulate you and try to control you and try to see if you feminine or not. But once you show her you masculine and you really don't need her. She gonna feel it. And every hoe around, hold on, seeing how you treated that hoe for disrespecting you, I promise you, it's gonna make them approach you much differently. Much differently. I, believe me, you are being tested every day if you are a masculine man in this society. You are being tested every day. People are testing you because they fear you. So they gotta make sure that there's no emotional vulnerability or weakness within you, man. So listen, men. Hey, man. It's time the man to fuck up. Get in shape, become more masculine. Look, y'all, come on now. Become more masculine. Hey, hey, make these bitches regret losing you. All right, so look, I love you guys so much. Y'all stay tuned for more content. And yeah, thug on the work on my game.